somewhere, Jarek? Jax! I thought you were going to- Thought I was what? Dead? Like my heart being just tossed off the cliff? I'm- I'm sorry, Jax. Please, don't drop me. Wait, I, I promise. Too late, Jarek. You can't drop me. You have to uphold the law. You have to arrest me. Wait, wait, this is brutality. You can't do it. Wrong, Jarek. This is not a brutality. This is a fatality. <laughs> Jax had a score to settle with the traitor he knew as Su Hao. Now revealed to be a member of the Red Dragon, Su Hao had infiltrated the Special Forces Outer World Investigation Agency and destroyed it with a miniature nuclear weapon. Making good on his promise, Jax eventually caught up with Su Hao and ripped the implant from his chest in retribution. Su Hao died a most painful death. Dragon King had defeated us all, save one, Jax. And though I had absorbed the fighting abilities of those who had aided me, I lacked the raw anger that propelled Jax into battle. Brutally pounding Onaga into submission, Jax finally ended the conflict by embedding a Kamidogu in the would-be ruler's head. Where he summoned so much rage from, I cannot say. I only hope that his anger is finally purged. When Jax absorbed the power of Blaze, the cybernetics in his arms grew and permeated his entire body. He was transformed into a full cyborg. He became aware of a controlling neural chip that had been implanted in his brain by Sector. Enraged, Jax defeated Sector and claimed leadership of the cyborg ninja clan, the Takunin. It is unknown if he will ever return to the Special Forces. Badly injured in the melee with the otherworldly invaders, Jax knew he must enhance his cybernetics to save his own life. He underwent massive anatomical restructuring, replacing most of his body with mechanized, fully armored versions. Jax is now more powerful than ever, but at the cost of his humanity. After the invasion was thwarted, many of Jax's allies had seemingly disappeared, leaving him to clean up the mess on his own. He searched for Shao Kahn's remaining forces, utilizing a new cyber scanner designed to remotely access worldwide databases. Navigating its virtual reality interface, Jax inadvertently accessed Kano's brain through his optical laser implant. Their minds linked. Jax virtually battled Kano. Finally, he captured and quarantined Kano's consciousness within the Special Forces mainframe. The dangerous criminal had finally been neutralized. After Shinnok's fall, the hospitalized Johnny Cage asked Jax to fill in as leader of his squad. Jax agreed. It was a chance to spend time with and protect Jackie. Boarding their transport after a routine mission, Jax's greatest fears were realized as the mercenary Aaron Black sprung from the cargo bay and fired on the young heroes. Fortunately for Jackie and company, Jax's quick reflexes and bulletproof arms deflected the assassin's rounds. Jax quickly subdued Black, then slipped into shock as a red stain engulfed his chest. All I wanted was to fix my life. Now I have the power to fix history. Raiden warns me, I can't fix everything. Change too much and I could lose Vera. 
who's Jackie? But this power is bigger than us. If I think only about helping myself, what kind of officer am I? What kind of man? I've been lucky. My family and I have lived the American dream. But most people who look like me haven't had that chance. I owe it to them to put things right. And I'm not waiting centuries for people to get woke when I've got the power to speed things up. I don't get it right the first time, or the second, or even the third. But eventually, I knock it out of the damn park. My family's back. The world's a better place for everyone. Turns out, you can have everything. Anyone who says you can't needs to dream bigger.